honestly, nothing makes me happier than seeing clients win and succeed. I'm smiling quite a lot here because I just finished a client interview with a client of mine and I would also at this point call him a very good friend, Eric, who went from nothing, zero, absolutely nothing, right? all the way to $30,000 per month as a dropout with no previous sales experience, no previous service delivery experience, no previous appointment booking experience. The dude went from nothing to 30 grand a month and now he basically just travels Greece and does whatever the hell he wants. This video is basically me interviewing him to find out exactly what the hell went on, how he did it, and he sort of breaks down step by step how he worked with us and what he did to sort of do that. And there's all sorts of little gems throughout here. So you can go panning for gold as you go through this video. But I'm over the bloody moon, man. Like Eric's put a lot of work in and um, I just had a really heartfelt chat with him after the interview. And I love my work, man. I love it so much. And that's all I really have to say for the introduction. So I hope you find this video useful. And um, if you did, then you can always do the whole liking thing. But either way, I'm going to get into the interview now. I will see you in there. All right. Hey, everyone. How's it going? And welcome back to another Another client interview. Um, I'm really excited today to be talking to Eric, who's a client of mine, but also a friend of mine at this point. Um, Eric has basically done what most people consider to be impossible, going from zero dollars a month to thirty thousand dollars per month as a complete beginner with a social media marketing agency in the space of five months. Now that's pretty impressive. So I wanted to bring Eric on and interview him. Um, he's been going through our program. And I wanted to get to the bottom of how he's done, what he's done. Um, so Eric, why don't you just start by introducing yourself, maybe tell people who you are, what niche you're in, where you're from and all, all that good stuff. Yeah, for sure. So uh, hello, everyone. I'm uh, Eric Cavillers. I'm originally from Vancouver. Um, I kind of live up in Whistler and uh, just over in Canada. But um, but yeah, I'm 20 years old. I'm uh, I at the time when I joined, it was uh, September 1st and now it's like uh February at the time of recording this but um mm. but yeah I uh I was in like third year university and um but yeah now I'm just uh pretty much just like traveling in uh in Europe with a few other guys in the space and uh living the laptop lifestyle it's, it's super fun and uh yeah I'm I'm in, uh, I'm in the real estate niche so yeah amazing so we'll touch on the laptop lifestyle thing because I think a lot of people watching this interview um and a lot of people who consider buying our program and stuff like one of their ultimate goals is to have that location freedom. So mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, so five months ago when you were starting, you didn't have the ability to just jet off to Greece when you wanted to. That's that's something that's happened recently. Yeah. 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 Where pretty have you, much. Where have you been? Yeah. Where are you going? Um, I honestly don't know. We're kind of just uh just gallivanting around Europe right now. But we were just in just in Portugal and now I honestly have no idea where we're gonna go next. It's uh pretty pretty spontaneous. But yeah, yeah. like when I was at least like when I was first starting out, like, or just when I first joined the program, uh, like before that I was just, yeah, just going to university. My goal didn't really align with what, what was going to happen if I didn't make a change. Yeah. Um, because something over the summer kind of clicked where I was like, fuck if i don't make a change like i'm actually gonna be working it under my back what do you this, think so. that what do you think that thing was because because what 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 i want to do and i'm sure what everyone's curious to know is like where you were before the program because we can look at where you are now and stuff but i think tracking back the genesis of that sort of like click was, was yeah. it a conversation you had or did you just sort of think like fuck i'm gonna end up like with a life that i hate if i'm not careful like what was the yeah. motivation <laughs> Yeah, I was like, well, yeah, like, first of all, I probably wouldn't wouldn't have ever like let myself actually get into that situation with like the nine yeah. to five. But like the whole realization was, it kind of just happened in like May. Um, and I was like, fuck, like, I I need to like change something. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I pretty much just like, I honestly just started watching YouTube videos. And then I just started binge watching like everything on like the the client interviews and I, and I pretty much just like made a plan mm. that I was going to pretty much drop out or like just stop university mm. and just start the program on September 1st. And then pretty much from there, it's, uh, it's been quite the journey and now we're, uh, now we're here. So dude, it makes me so happy, man. So, so you were basically, what, what were you studying university? Was it business or something like that? Yeah, business studies. Yeah. yeah, it was like consumer behavior. So yeah. it kind of like psychology and marketing. But I can be honest, like I didn't learn anything. Oh, <laughs> like, that's usually how it goes. Stuff, yeah. Yeah. Like the stuff that I'm learning with the program and just overall like on the internet is 
Yeah. It's like you can't even really compare it to what I was learning in university because it's so like outdated and just not like useful information that I was learning in uh in uni. Yeah. But so I, but yeah. I got a question. So so when you're at university studying business, because I dropped out of university as well, and we've had a lot of other clients drop out to start the program, do similar thing to you. Yeah. Did you have this feeling that like you didn't fit in? Where like you sort of had a different mindset or a different way yeah. of seeing the world <laughs> and you were really ambitious and everyone else was sort of just like, not not blind, but you know, everyone's kind of like an NPC and then you're there like, NPC, actually, yeah. like what, how did you feel? About, how did that happen for you? And what was that like? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, like when I was, it, it really hit me when, I was in my like it was like a personal finance uh like lecture and like the professor was like well yeah this is like what we're doing we're pretty much just gonna be showing you guys and you're pretty much going to university to get like you know the best job out of university yeah everyone kind of agreed and i was just like Shit. sitting there like <laughs> hold on <laughs> so yeah i i kind of just like and it just from now on it's like such a disconnect from from pretty much like everyone at university it's uh I don't like feel the same anymore. So yeah, no, I hear you're yeah. a different person, yeah. man. You've grown. So when when you so you dropped out of university and you formulated this plan, you you binge watched the content, watched the kind of interviews. What was the initial goal? Like, did you did you want to get to thirty grand a month straight away, or was it getting the first few clients? Like, what what was that sort of? Was it ten k a month? Like, what was the first goal you wanted to hit when you dropped out? Honestly, I was like pretty ambitious, like. I was viewing 10k a month as like not the actual goal, but definitely like a a milestone that I wanted to hit. Like, yeah, I was definitely wanting to be hitting. I remember like just watching uh, Luca's interview just so many times, like when he's yeah. doing like 10 weeks, and and now now I'm there. So yeah, so yeah, but I don't think there was like really a goal. It was more just like I wanted to get to a point where I didn't have to like work the nine to five, and also just like make a. A shit ton of money but yeah but yeah so your your goal oh, yeah. was less like you sort of wanted to get 10 grand a month but for you it was more about the sort of time freedom location freedom freedom of movement like just being able to go where you want when you want with who you want without having to ask to anyone that's sort yeah. of what the, what the goal was yeah, and like, now you've done it yeah, man. Like that's money, such a good yeah. that's such a good feeling yeah. bro it is yeah like right. the money was pretty much just like a. it was yeah just like a vehicle to in order for me to like do whatever i want and mm. I also just like hate being restrained by anything so um like the money just pretty much allowed that to for me to like not being uh restrained by anything because it's it's actually it's such a weird feeling because you know usually when you went traveling like in the past where you were in like university or like or like in high school and like it was and you're always like thinking like oh i gotta go back soon and i gotta go back to like normal life but i i just like don't, you don't have, have to go it. back man you can just stay there forever <laughs> I've never yeah, looked at it like that actually. That's a good point. Yeah. Pretty it's uh, so it's pretty good. So let's get let's get to the, the nuts and bolts, the parts that people are probably quite interested in, um, in terms of how you use the program to do it. So it, I think it'd be yeah. helpful for everyone if you sort of mapped out like in what order did you consume the, the, the content, but more importantly, like what actions did you take to get that result so quickly? Because a lot of our clients, it, it could take them like it could take them a year to get to 30 grand a month. It depends on like how quickly they do it, what their mindset's like. I mean, everyone signs clients and everyone sort of breaks free, so to speak, but you've done it in a very yeah. fast period of time. And, you know, for full transparency with everyone watching this, like Eric is an example of what you can achieve with the program, but it is an anomaly. You're, you're an exception, you know, to get from zero to 30 with no previous experience is, 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 is difficult to do. It's possible. But most people might, you know, in the in the first few months might get to, you know, eight grand a month, 10 grand a month. So you've done it differently. So yeah, walk everyone through sort of the linear steps that you took and how you use the program to, to accomplish this result. Yeah. So like, I guess like starting off, it was pretty much me just making a plan to go into like uh, a super, like, I guess, deep monk mode when it comes to things mm. starting like September first, pretty much. So I, I moved up to like Whistler, which is like kind of two hours north of Vancouver and pretty much like it's a super small town and I just have like a house up there. So mm. I pretty much just, I not like ghosted everyone, but I just pretty much just like deleted all social media, didn't really talk to anyone, just pretty much just like wanted to transform like my mind into like a mental yeah. like metamorphosis almost. Um, and then, yeah, from there, I pretty much just, first of all, just started watching the mindset. I was 
like completely uh just completely blown away Good. yeah <laughs> that was, it, it was self transcendent yeah, yeah 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 it was something i've like never seen before so yeah i learned about like paradigms and all that stuff and i just consistently was hitting so many paradigm shifts like over like the the past months like since joining mm -hmm. um but yeah at least like for kind of what really moved the needle the needle was like probably the looms uh mm -hmm. i got to a point when i was <laughs> i had like an insane booking rate it's like about 10 percent uh ADR, <laughs> which is like <laughs> that's just like nuts yeah. so um and then yeah pretty much also cold calling um that helped a lot and that was also like right now it's like one meeting booked out of every like 10 dials which is like insane so as well so, and this is in the real estate um, niche right yeah so yeah. yeah these numbers might be you know a bit a uh, bit inflated compared to you know other niches like the gym niche or whatever but um but yeah like pretty much i just kept on staying consistent and then i was like you know doing some like 30-day free trials uh, at the start and i was charging like super low like 750 setups uh and then now i'm i'm doing like way higher ticket like uh yeah. 4 000 to like 5 000 setups and then just 25 percent commission after that so how did you feel about the sales thing because had you ever done a sales call in your life before starting your agency <laughs> no i was like <laughs> I was so like, you just, you just took the training and you were like yeah go on i'll just give it a go yeah i yeah i honestly had like I had no idea what I was doing. I remember I was just like super nervous the first few times, but honestly, you just got to do what you got to do. Like I, I was kind of just like seen as like a, I guess, uh, like learning experience. I wasn't at least for like the first few, few sales calls. And I just got, um, you know, better and better from that. But and yeah. you used the, the script in the program to do the sales calls or did, yeah. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. What, what about service delivery? Because obviously we do a lot of service delivery in the program. Did you use any of that stuff? Because I, I know that you're also mentored by by Ishmael, who's another one of our clients as well. Did, did he help you with the service delivery, or was that was it sort of split of both ways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ishmael showed me his service delivery, but um, I kind of, I guess he kind of gave me the foundations, and you guys also gave me the foundations as well. Yeah. Um, and then I kind of like built off from that. So yeah. I was, I was like showing the, uh, when I was doing, when I do like sales calls, I show them like the, the golden follow-up system. Uh, oh yeah. That little, have... that little shiny apple. Yeah. <laughs> just watch so, their uh, eyebrows just lift. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's so, yeah, like I, a, I, I think that's a good, sorry to interrupt you. I think that's a good, a good thing yeah, for yeah. people to know for, for when you're doing sales calls, like what, what we've learned in what Eric's just explained is like, don't tell people show them so it's, yeah. you can tell someone like hey we've got a system to get people to show up but like if you can actually if you if you show it mapped out in a nice pretty Miro board and you explain like well this is exactly how it works like that alone gives so much more strength because i'm assuming you do you do a probably a similar thing with like your ads and your funnels and stuff and like you know when you're show, when you're walking people through it so that's important so if, if you don't mind me asking eric what what's the best day you've had sales wise so you, five months ago you were a different person making no money just dropped out of uni F fast forward five months in the last month or two what's the best day you've ever done cash wise yeah so it was a 6k day but it was supposed to be uh it's supposed to be a 10k day but a deal just fell through so um but i mean i should be hitting a 10k day uh probably within the next like two weeks or so if yeah. uh if like if i just sign two clients in a day but at, a, at 5k but but yeah it's and like that's that's by the way that's that's cash collected right that's not like yeah yeah retainers coming in in a few months that's like upfront set yeah, yeah. right yeah that's that's all set up for you um because if we're if we're talking like um like retainers or like commission like i guess deals yeah those could be i could be getting paid up to like 50k in like a year from from one yeah. client um yeah. from like commission so um but yeah like at least like for like setup fees is cash collected and that's like pretty much that's like all profit as well so yeah um that's the thing so, like the margins are like super high in in agencies so so yeah. five months ago zero dropout had no clue what you were doing but you went monk mode you come out of monk mode you know four months later you go traveling you're now doing 30 grand a month how how the fuck does it feel like knowing that you've actually seen you 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 sort of in your mind you imagined a life you wanted to have i.e financial freedom location freedom having enough money to basically say fuck you to everyone like how the fuck does it feel 
what's the what's the main emotion that you feel when it comes to the success you've achieved or is it not quite it's registered like, yet yeah <laughs> it's you know it's 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 definitely it feels like quite something but it feels like it was just meant to be like it feels like it was just supposed to happen mm. um because yeah it's 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 such a good feeling though just knowing that i'm just making like so much and i don't have to like work a nine to five ever pretty much and i could just like do whatever i want i don't have anything restraining me and it's uh it's super nice and i'm, I'm like also just traveling with like such a good group of guys and we're all mm -hmm. doing like pretty similar numbers so it's uh it's super nice to kind of just like build off off each other and stuff so yeah um but yeah it's it's super nice like going to the gym every day just you know exploring greece and europe overall so mm. so yeah but yeah it's i just have like such a good feeling every night knowing that i'm in this in this like parallel universe and not a different parallel universe like in the, like a nine to five but then again i probably wouldn't ever kind of I guess like let myself be in that position but yeah well you do yeah. anything you, you do anything you could to escape it if you really wanted to i think that's yeah. that's something that you know i mean you've probably put yourself through a lot of work i mean obviously you know you can you can look at the program and attribute you know our program like easy grow to your success but i think that a lot of it comes down to you and how much you worked you mm -hmm. know so i think that's important so yeah. here's a question so what's next like where where do you want to scale to next? What's your because I'm assuming you're not. I mean, you you could be. It'd be fine if you were, but I'm assuming you're not just going to sit back and get comfortable on a sunbed. So what? Oh, what's, yeah. your next, <laughs> what, what's the next goal? What's the next level of universe you want to achieve? Yeah, we're uh, we're just getting just getting started here. So yeah, I'm thinking of like definitely 100k a month. Mm. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the time frame is that going to be like, but if I you know could pull it off by the end of 2023 that'd be amazing but it's it's going to be hard to i guess stay consistent with that just like because as you know like when you scale you run into like a shit ton of problems oh yeah, so, yeah. you're yeah. gonna face all sorts of shit you didn't know you needed to yeah. face i think yeah, I, I've already been, yeah. I, I think the natural progression is like i think the hardest and you can prob you probably find this the hardest is going from like zero to like 10 or 20. Cause that's like, yeah. you have to go from civilian to business owner and that's really hard. But <laughs> I think like, I think where most people plateau is when they need to decentralize their business. So it's when mm -hmm. they need to start hiring people and replacing themselves and building systems. That's when they, yeah. that's when it goes wrong. So I think it's possible. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're an easy grow, so you won't find it too hard. Yeah, so that's yeah exactly. So, so uh, yeah. Um, so here's the, here's the question where I get you to essentially sell the program for me. But if, oh, yeah. if you, <laughs> well, I was talking to Eric at the start before, before we started yeah. and he said he wants as many people to buy it as, as possible. So, yeah. so if you, what would you say to someone who's watching this and wants to, is thinking about, you know, booking call or investing in the program, like who was in the same boat as you, like, what would you say to them as a, as a result? Like, would you, yeah, I'll just leave that as an open ended question. Uh, I'm just say as like Lucas said it, just like buy the fucking programs. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, that that is so. How I frame it as like, this program is essentially like a one way ticket from you to get to where I was to essentially just like freedom in all areas of your life, like location, time, and like financial freedom. Um, yeah, I would just do it, but only do it if you're willing to put in the work and like actually you want to actually change your life because if you're kind of like you know half-assing it it i mean it, it still works but you're not going to get the results as fast yeah. and it's not going to be as like i guess meaningful for you so but yeah i would 100 join it's you know amazing community i talked to like so many so many people in there i'm already like uh you know meeting up with uh with a few guys in a few months like also like you and just my like mentor ishmael and uh few other guys i'm actually thinking i'm doing like a podcast with some of them so nice. um but yeah community is like amazing because that's the thing like i was thinking about this and if i didn't join i don't know where i would be but i probably wouldn't be in greece right now and <laughs> i probably because that's the thing like about entrepreneurship is it's such a like lonely path hmm. and if you don't have a community to back you up, things can get super lonely sometimes. So yeah. if you're just always surrounding yourself with, you know, people very similar to you, uh, just like even like just online in the community, you're going to grow way faster and feel like 
uh, I guess like more fulfilled and just like connected because mm. you can get, it, it's like a super, super lonely path. Well, that's sort of how I see it is it's like, it's kind of like, if, if you imagine that, and this is going to sound really sort of like philosophical and hippie <laughs> stuff, but like, if you imagine yeah. that success is like just a really like, is a really dark path. Like you, there's a long, there's a path, but it's just pitch yeah. black. It's like the mentor is the person who holds the light at the end of the path and says, yeah. right, this is the direction you go. But like, if you try and walk that on your own, you're going to get, you're going to go mad. But if, if you yeah. do it with like a bunch of people and they're all walking to the same light, like it's way, it's way easier. Yeah. So and and I, like, I promise. And that, also, yeah. sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, oh, I no, promise I that your bit like... wasn't scripted. Oh, we've done it, mate. We've done the interrupt <laughs> problem. I was going to say, I, I promise that the bit where you just ranted on about how great it is wasn't scripted just for fun. For, for yeah, but... so, yeah, but you, but you yeah. go on, mate. What were you going to say? Oh, no, I was just saying like the, the path of success, how you're saying like the, like the dark mm -hmm. um, path, it's, it's pretty much just like a shit ton of pain that's like loaded up and you have to get through all that pain to like yeah. get to the end of the tunnel. Um, because as you know, I think it was a trial by fire or a, I think that was the model. Trial by when fire. Is the, like, yeah. 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 When you mentioned like just do the most painful thing possible, like every single day and that's gonna like lead you to the most growth and i was just doing that like cold calling all the time just doing the most you know well, i remember dude you, <laughs> you'd post stuff in the community like hey guys i did like 200 cold calls today and booked like 16 meetings what was that most about how many meetings did you book in a day i don't think it was as many as 16 how many did you book like no, i think i think it was like i think it's been like uh, i think it was 12 or so but, yeah um I can but yeah I, i've been that's the thing it's it's weird but I, I, I'm definitely trying to hit 20 meetings booked in a day. Um, I know you guys are doing like crazy numbers. Dude, we booked after the Easy Grow yeah. launch, we booked 130 in one day. And yeah. now now we're we're fully booked across five reps for a week in advance. Oh. It's crazy, man. But anyway, so this is about you. This is, yeah, um, yeah. But 20 meetings in a day. I mean, the fact that you did 12 in a day purely with cold caller, because that was using the script from the program, wasn't it? But you sort of like uh, took it and then you made yeah. it your own, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that was also a bit from a uh, from cold email, um, mm. because as you guys know, I I was the one who created like the 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 automation of looms. I Charlie created like the original Terminator looms, but I dude, kinda... this guy is like a fucking automation <laughs> genius, mate. You created yeah. so much like hands off stuff, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely did. But yeah, I'm actually I'm gonna be dropping uh, a guide with that just for like the laptop version at least, because uh, like the other ones were two screens, so. Um, but yeah, I'm just in Greece right now, so I can only do do a laptop. Yeah. But yeah, we can yet. record like. But what we'll do is Eric's actually got a YouTube channel where he does all of this cool automation stuff. I'll link that in the description, um, mm -hmm. so you can click the first thing in the description, and then then you go and check out like what Eric does because a lot of the stuff that he yeah, does yeah. is an extension of the program. But but listen, mate, I've actually got to go to a team meeting, which I'm now ten minutes late for. So we unfortunately <laughs> need to wrap up. But but yeah, in yeah. in summary, um, you know, if anyone watching this, like. At the end of the day, we've got, you know, almost 20 of these interviews now, and I've got like another four or five scheduled to do. Um, you can see exactly, like, Eric is a real human. I promise he's not AI generated. As handsome as he is, I don't yeah. think you can make him on a computer. <laughs> but ultimately, you know, if you resonate with this and you're trying to go from like nothing and to build something for yourself so that ultimately you can manifest your personal potential, if you feel like you're worth more than the norm or media, like there's nothing wrong with that because people think that there's everything wrong with like thinking you're more than the norm. Like if you feel like Eric felt and you want to do what Eric's done, then there's going to be a link in the description you can click. It takes you through to a funnel. It's designed to get you to book a call, sell you something. I'm not going to pretend it's a free training or something, but ultimately, you know, click that link, book a call, and then you can end up on a client interview like Eric has in, in five or six months. But um, yeah. Eric, mate, it's been a pleasure. Um, is there anything else you, you want to round off with or, you know, do, should we call it a day there? Um, honestly, yeah. Probably good, but I, I do recommend like when you do join, just not Set don't up. like ghost everyone, but just like go into like a, a deep monk mode mm -hmm. and just completely change your mindset and paradigms and essentially like life at the end of the day. Yeah. Amazing. Mate, thank you so much. It's yeah. been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you so much, Charlie. Talk to you soon, bro. All right.